currently we're commuting about an hour a day and when we come out to the farm we're here for the day we needed a quick and easy solution to cook our meals we use this four cinder block rocket stove and we're going to show you all about it coming up next Now I love things that are extremely simple and this stove is really easy to make. All it takes is four cinder blocks and we burn wood chips in it. We got plenty of them. So let me show you how, how to put it together. Let's take off this top block. Some pieces that we broke here. Now they make an H block and we couldn't find them anywhere. An H block has this part open and this part open. But we had to use a standard cinder block and end up busting out the side and it wasn't the cleanest thing, but it still functions. It's good enough. So it all starts with this bottom block. The bottom block is laid horizontally. This is gonna end up being the bottom of the firebox, which is right here. And again, if you had an H block, this side would be open, but it's, it's inconsequential. So you stand this block up and that's where you feed the fire. You end up putting from the front here, you end up feeding your wood chips and such right in. And this is where the fire is going to be built. And this other block is basically your chimney. So we have four cinder blocks. Once again, it's very functional. That's not so important that there's a few gaps, but the better, more. The more tight it can be, the better off you are going to be because it'll feed the convection current properly. And we also have a gap up here because of the concave matter that we use some of the pieces from breaking up the block to just kind of block that hole good enough. And that's it. And then we take four pieces of wood and we put them on top. And now we feed the fire through here. The firebox is inside here. The chimney causes the convection. Let us start the fire and we'll show you how to how to use it. Sometimes an easy way to start your fire is just take a crumpled piece of paper, go ahead and put that in and then put your wood chips on top of it and use that piece of paper as your ignition. Or if you'd rather be more within nature, you can use some of the wood chips that are shredded up more. That makes it a lot easier. So we've built a small fire in here and we use a couple of pieces of wood and we have a grate from an old, uh, an old, um, Weber type grill, Smoky Joe, and we put the grate on so it allows air to escape. Otherwise, if you just put the pan on right on top of it, it's liable to choke out the fire. And that's it, really. We just put the pan on there and we're ready to cook. Let's make something to eat. There's nothing better than ham and eggs. So we we brought some ham from home. I don't know if you ever use a seal a meal. When we have a big ham, we cut some slices off and put it up in a seal a meal and seal it up. We put it in the freezer and we'll have many meals thereafter. It's great to be able to bring some here to the farm, cook some up, mmm, because that smell good. You can see we have a nice healthy fire going. One of the other great things about using this rocket stove and burning those wood chips is we're, we have pure wood ash that we can use in the garden. I cleaned it out this morning. I could put this directly in a compost pile for the additional nutrients or sp lightly sprinkle it over a uh, bed. If you put too much on, be careful, you could change the pH. Now for our wonderful contribution from the girls. We just toss the eggshells on the ground or sometimes we'll clean them up and add them to the, to the, back to the girls' food or the compost pile. We just crack a bunch of eggs in here and scramble them right in the pan. I got a plastic fork so that I don't do any damage to the, my $3 Walmart frying pan. And now just wait and let them cook. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's hot. We have some beautiful cilantro that overwintered well. Let's grab some of this for the eggs. Let's grab some of these garlic tops. Mmm, that's nothing better than these garlic tops. Always add your herbs towards the end so they don't lose so much flavor as they're cooking down. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of cilantro. We use Zatarain's Creole seasoning. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is Tony Satry's. They both make them, we use them both. Creole seasoning by Tony Satry's or Zatarain's. I hope you found this little video about the rocket stove valuable and get to put it to good use. Now let's eat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's nothing better than cooking food out on the farm. Remember, this is the year to giveaways. March Calendula is the plant of the month. Make sure you make it over to that video and leave a, leave a comment. We'll be giving calendula, calendula seeds away to 10 lucky individuals at the end of the month. Stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and come grow with us. Here, I made you a plate.